What's up, uh, dude? TLS here for the first impressions video of Halo Wars 2 beta. So, uh, uh, it's, it's June 15th. The beta came out two days ago. It's going to be going to June 20th. They still haven't switched over to the deathmatch version. So, this is just the original game type called Ricochet. It's the, basically the domination version of this game. And I will be doing another first impressions video for the Ricochet, for the deathmatch game mode. So, it'll just be hopefully the standard game mode. So, what's my first impression of this game? To say the least, is I guess the thing everyone's probably thinking about when they play the betas is like, will I buy this game? And me personally, from playing this beta, I'm a huge Halo Wars fan. I My first video I have on my channel is from Halo Wars. And I would say I would not be buying this game when it comes out, based off this beta alone. And it's not bad. Like, my first reaction was just terrible, averse. I hated every second of it. I couldn't stand the game. And, um,. I couldn't really, I didn't like it, but I've played a couple more matches and I realized it's not that bad, it's just different. And I need to keep trying it and trying it and trying it. Because there is something fun about it, but they almost slowed down Halo Wars. Because Halo Wars is already a kind of slow RTS, so you can't really do very much in general. But what I'm trying to say is they slowed it down more and it, there's a couple things I don't like about it. So, right now we're in the beginning of the game, I'm just going over, sending a Warthog to start scouting and I built my base order i did a new build order for this one i actually thought he was stealing my resources i'm like dude what the fuck are you doing but i realized that it was just right my stuff's right there so i decided to send those guys over there so the first thing you'll notice is the graphics are so much better and i'm playing as captain cutter and you don't get the the fortress right away so you only have the five slots instead of having the seven which is a little bit of a change but you do have four turrets so you you know you get the up and down and you collect resources the same way they i'm not sure if they have the same amount as before or not but uh they're definitely the same type of thing. And they can change the color of the resources. The game looks amazing itself. The graphics are really well done. And you'll see some battles going on in a little bit here that just look amazing. And just the particle effects and the explosions look really, really good. So the game's presentation itself is very good. I like how the generators are. And so that. So, what's, so what are the big main differences between Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2? So Halo Wars 1, the only thing you had was supplies that you spent things on. And you also have tech level. In this one, you don't have a tech level. Well, you do, but that's just the that's the level of your original base. But they added a whole other supply, so it's kind of like Vespian gas from like Starcraft, right? But this time it's called just power. And you get that via generators. You build the generators up. They don't cost any kind of generator power to build themselves. And you do that, then you get it's the second number underneath the supplies. It's the one going up, and it, everything's a little bit more cost efficient. So more more cost. Uh, it, co it costs more via power than it does supplies, generally. Because it's harder to come by, you get them slower. What I just built is a small mini base which costs 200 resources, which you could put a single thing in there that's... That was already there, and what I'm doing is I'm sending my mar marines around to attack uh, the supply points, which have the basic AI creeps there defending it. You take them out really easy. You get a couple levels, veteran C, so like, remember how in Halo Wars 1 you can have certain stars above your character? And that meant the power level they went up 15% for every single star they got that in this game and is a little bit easier so another big change instead of pressing up on the d-pad to come up with your sp um, spirit of fire or whatever top down menu to do the restoration field do the mac blast or drop the odst that's on left trigger now and you can you just start up with zero leader powers at all there's no specific leader power there are specific leader powers per leader as far as i can tell there's different ones between the brute chieftain guy and captain cutter and there's me putting down a second base. Bases All take a minutes. fuck ton long time to build. Like, it's crazy. Then if you look... Anyways, like I was saying, so you get commander points if you com if you do something good. I'm not sure how exactly you get commander points at the po at this point. I'm pretty sure it's destroying a certain amount of things or capturing uh, points in a game mode. I'm not sure how they're going to do it for standard slash deathmatch. I don't know if that's what they're going to be calling it. And you spend it on, like, a skill tree. You can either upgrade your Mac Blast, you can upgrade to get ODST drops, you can drop Cyclones. There's another Super 1, which is the Tier 5, where you drop two ODST squads and a Cyclone. ODST squads cost three population now, and so do the Marines. Your, um, your population is much higher than it was in Halo Wars. You get up to 80 with the upgrade. You start out at 60, but everything costs more. So, like, a tank is 7 pop, so you can't have massive, massive armies anymore, which is a little bit different. And that's me capturing... Some more resources, and if you look at the thing, my uh, the building that my Marines are running walking by, that's the garrison type thing. You can stick snipers in there, and that's another new unit. You got a lot of different units now. There's a couple more. I know there's a sniper unit and a flamethrower unit, which is the same, but they call them Hellbringers. But the sniper unit's also an anti-inventory 
you know, what you use to build out of the, um, the barracks, and they essentially work as ghosts from StarCraft, and they have super long range, and they just destroy, destroy, um, Marines and stuff, and Marines, actually, you can't really just mass up Marines anymore, I was trying to do that, and it was not working, they're very fast, but you have to do different army comps, you can't just build up a giant death ball of Marines and go drop millions of ODST. And if you see the ally tier 2 tech unlock, that means that the guy upgraded his um, command center. Now I'm going to be, I'm looking to upgrade my command center in here. I upgrade it in a minute or two, but that's how you get the different tech levels. So you need to be a level 3 tech to get, or yeah, I guess it is tech level, to get up to, um, to get tanks and stuff. And it, so that make it almost eliminates rushes in a way from generator tanks because you can't just rush that because you need generator power and you need supplies. So it kind of eliminates that in a way. I make a mistake here. I thought I captured it, but I got out of it a little too quickly. So actually, it's just chilling there. So I'm going to go move. And if you also look at the mini map, the mini map's a little bit different. You have the different points. The blue points obviously are your team. And the little lightning bolts are uh, forerunner generators that also give you job power level points i don't know like power points i don't know i don't know what the hell they call them and they're capturing e right now we're trying to capture a i'm upgrading my guys there's the sniper rifle right there then if you looked at the top there was a uh, a symbol where you can upgrade your units in general so if you want to upgrade your vehicles you can give them 15 percent more health 15 percent more damage so they have the skill tree still, you can get like canister shot, you can get grenades, you can get rocket launchers for your marines, that type of thing, but you can't, I haven't found an ODST upgrade to buy and build ODSTs, which is kind of bothering me, because I loved just having millions and millions of ODSTs and just sacrificing them to the, the gods. But anyway, so you can upgrade them and you can get certain more perks that way, so they're just better units in general. And then another difference is you can't build the three Spartans anymore. You have your one hero unit. In this case, the hero unit is Jerome092. And you build him, and his upgrades aren't as expensive anymore. Usually, and if you remember in Halo Wars, you wanted to get the Spartan can, you needed to have a Spartan laser. I mean, you had to have a, um, a top four tech, like a level four tech, and then a thousand resources to get Spartan laser to make your goddamn. Spartan effective, but now it's actually not that expensive, so that's better. The hero units are a lot easier to use, but I always just find out, find that I just sacrifice them. I don't really have, it's so weird because I was so good, at, I was pretty good at Halo Wars. Like, I understood how to do everything, and everything was pretty clunky for an RTS, but I feel like they made it even more clunkier. And if, but if, if you have the pro controller, you could set uh, command and control groups. I think you can do this in this game, I haven't figured it out yet. They said you could be able to use the D-pad, it's not, it's not been working for me. But it's hard to micromanage, and this game is coming out for the PC as well, so it'll be a good PC game, but on the Xbox, it's just, it doesn't seem to want to flow as well. It, it, it doesn't work, so that's, it's just really confusing because they did such a good job in the presentation, and I feel like they were put a lot of effort into this, put a lot of thought into it, but they tried overcomplicating it, because if you remember, Halo, Halo Wars 1 is the very simple RTS, and that was me upgrading, that was the tech tree I was talking about, I think I picked up the first three, which All means e quicker uh, veterancy, quicker command post, uh, you know, you can pick up things easier, faster, like taking uh, objects and buildings, and then I also got the uh, third one, I forget what I picked up, I think it was faster uh, unit movement, um, yeah, then you can go to ODST, then I eventually get Cyclops. My biggest complaint about this game so far is the loading times are ridiculous. They're just Combat terrible. I can't stand them. I s literally sat there recording f about four minutes of just loading screen because it took that long. And I was not okay with that. And the next thing I really don't like is there's no notifications anymore. Because remember in Halo 1 or Halo Wars 1, you get attacked by one thing, there'll be a huge oh. red pop-up. Even in StarCraft it does that. It, there is no pop-up for if you get attacked. It's There is, but it's very hard to see. And I just don't don't enjoy it at all and it's just I found myself where I'd be capturing a point and somebody would come in and counterattack me and I would lose my whole army in like a couple minutes I wouldn't even realize and it was just so frustrating because Halo Wars 1 had a not a good UI but it was simple and it was easy to understand and everything flowed really well I felt like and that's me going to upgrade more vehicles I actually got the garage which is the um, equivalent to the armory not the armory, the uh, the vehicle depot in Halo Wars, and that's me creating more snipers. So I'm gonna get scorpion tanks, but scorpion tanks are really fucking good. 
except for the fact that Marines can overpower him. So I think they, I'm not, I haven't confirmed this, but I think this might be true, that they, uh, you know how in Halo Wars 1 you had the triangle, the combat triangle essentially, where air was better than tanks, but worse than infantry, infantry is better than air, but worse than tanks, and then blah blah blah, yeah, so on and so on, so on and so forth, I mean. I feel like they got rid of that somewhat, because I've seen marines take out tanks, and you can only have a couple tanks, because you have, you can have a max of like, what, 11 tanks, because uh, your max population is 80, and tanks cost 7 population Upgrade apiece, complete. which is high as shit, I think you could have less than that, I think you could have more tanks in Halo Wars 1, don't quote me on that, but I believe so, and scorpion tanks are really overpowered in this game, I feel like, they need, they're, it, I mean, it is a beta, I know I'm complaining about a beta, I know, I'm, it's not perfect, but there are some things that I don't understand how they did it. And another thing that really bothers me is there's, n I can't seem to get the activated abilities to work. Because in Halo 1, you could have the canister shell, you could have the RPG, you could have the jacking thing. They work, but Combat there's no on-screen prompt for them to tell when they have to reload or not. And the most overpowered thing was having 40 fucking squads of ODST blowing up one goddamn building because they were just using their activated rocket ability. That was the greatest thing they've ever seen. But there are positives in this game. Like I said, there are many negatives. There are more negatives out the positives, but the presentation is impeccable. It's great. They fixed some of the lag issues. I've only had a couple frame drops during battles. Uh, the, the scales are smaller but bigger in the same time. Because there's less units on the field because they're, they cost more... Um, more population, but the units themselves sizes are bigger, so it looks like a more grandiose scale. Because the army I have right now is nearly maxed out. I have nine population, so I can build three more mar squads of marines. And my teammate actually went for vultures, so here's the first shot of the vultures and what I was talking about. Look at those effects. That is incredible. Like, these, the uh, particle effects and how they look is just amazing. It's, I can't I can't get over how good this game looks, but how annoying it is. And this is me building my Spartan, that's Jerome, I just upgraded the, um, <laughs> that's Jerome. I just upgraded him to get the hijack ability, so he hijacks vehicles, which I actually use later. I take out the, I take a artillery oh, machine type vehicle that sir. replaced the Cobra, which was my favorite vehicle in Halo Wars 1. Just having a line of Cobras destroyed anything way. besides Hornets, because they can't shoot up. But anyway. So there's just a lot of things that are good and bad, and that's me upgrading to upgrade the uh, Cyclops, or looking to upgrade to the Cyclops, which is, it's pretty satisfying dropping an ODST, like, I'm about to drop one right now, it's not a big line, they drop like four or five of them, but it ends up just being one unit, like, all one good. ODST super unit does not do that much, nine. I don't like that at all, I, I can see it like being a savior type thing, but one guy is not going to do very much, and also, but the thing I do like, like I was saying, and also the thing I like about this game is you can cycle through bases really easy. It's just down on the D-pad. It was like that in the other game. No, it's left on the D-pad, and then you can do units. They did fix that a little bit, and this is my Spartan getting a little muffed up by some fucking snipers in the hills, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to lose my you know, Spartan right away. So I just go over there, and then I found out it's only one sniper, but then there's an artillery. This is my one of the favorite my favorite parts is just him duking it out and not really doing anything. And also, one thing I found out is people have a really hard time targeting on to units. I can I tell them to attack, 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 almost like trying to do like a stutter step, like in StarCraft or something, and they just stand there. Or the animation's bugged. I'm not too sure. I can't really tell. And this is me taking out a vulture while my Spartan is getting just shat on. And I got some tanks coming out. I build Wolverines. Wolverines were the anti-infantry or anti-vehicle unit from. Halo Wars 1. I think I just got Mac Blasted. Yep, that's a Mac Blast right there. Mac Blast is also a lot worse, and this guy just comes in with all of his vultures. We ended up we ended up killing it this game. Um, usually it's a lot closer. Well, I've played about 10 games of Halo Wars. I've won probably 7 of them. 2 of them, about 5 of them, everyone's quit, or one person quit right away, so it was just a 2v1. And the other two, like this one, went out to the end, were actually fun and drawn out, and you can get down the tech tree. But this game, it's probably what? I'm at 14 minutes right now for recording the video, and we're about 10 minutes away. So, this guy built Hornets, and he obviously doesn't know how to, you know, he didn't know very much, because if you build only, if you build Hornets versus infantry, they get a little muffed up. 
And then here's the big battle I'm talking about. This is just impressive looking. I love every second about this. And then look at those explosion effects. Oh, Impeccable. Yeah. I think my Spartan just died too. It's a sad day. Sad day. So yeah, that's Halo Wars 2 for the most part. We're just wanting to the end of this video here. What I have recorded. Yep, we're about eh, about two minutes left. So uh, we're wandering down. We're just going down, collecting all the points. They have one point. We have four. Getting the final Cyclops drop. We'll see what the Cyclops looks like comes in. The Cyclops actually is anti-vehicle now. If you remember from Halo Wars 1, it was a, a Forge only unit, Sergeant Forge only unit, and you could do a drop. Right there, and there's your Cyclops drop coming in. The drops look pretty cool, they're pretty satisfying. And then they're on their 1,000 tickets now. And these guys are just coming over, I'm like, oh shit, I better swing around. I don't know why he backs up. He, I don't know if the artillery guys can actually attack up. Maybe he was just worried about the random Marines he had coming, or he was just waiting for them. So I decided to swing around and see what I can do. Then he has Scorpions as well as with a Spartan. So this is a cool little ending battle to end the rest of end the game with and there's the third vehicle upgrade I never got but I built some more Wolverines and some more tanks um, if you can go to the armory you can upgrade your supply cap which I already did but you can also upgrade how quick I think it's a 20% faster uh, unit building mechanic uh, mechanism which is really nice because they, they had that in Halo Wars 1 as well and there's some slow motion shots get a little bit of lag here that's another thing things are laggy as hell people lag out all the time like, these servers aren't good, but it's a beta, so it's understandable. They're probably not dedicated servers. And you only have 310 tickets. I think you lose tickets for every single unit you lose. We're about to, we destroyed this game. They, it was about a 2 to 1 end. And there's the flamethrower units. The flamethrower effects look really nice. And it takes forever to get to the, um, to get the new Cyclops drop, and then the, uh, fucking uh, ODST dropped. And there's the new health field, which looks really nice. I don't know why he dropped it. It's like, oh, I might need that into the future. And this is pretty much the end of the game. Zoom in on some tanks. But my tank is being fucking uh, hijacked, and we destroy it anyway at the last second. Boom. All right, and that's Halo Wars 2. Would I buy this game if it came out tomorrow? No. Is it a uh, good follow-up? No. Is it a good beta? No. I didn't like it that much. Pretty cool to look at, though. Thank you very much.